Hello, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Let me know if you can hear me and see me in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get rid of some of this light. Let me see if I can just turn it off. Actually, that's better. I don't even need the light. All right. Let me know if you can see me and hear me. Go ahead. Press tag and press share like right now because um, I'm going in. Praise God, praise God. Okay, you hear me? Thank you, Lawanda. Um, let me know you can see me as well. Everything's clear, right? Great job. I missed you guys. I've been very much under the weather. And just to be honest with you, I'm just a fight. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm on one. And yes, I, I ain't going to lie. The enemy try. Let me tell you something. Y'all know we starting that fast next week. I say we because I pray that a lot of you are joining. But let me tell you something. He always tries to attack me because he knows my spirit is a warrior spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say what God want me to say. I'm going to go where God want me to go. And I'm going to do what God want me to do. Because guess what? My life is not my own. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so God was talking to me about. I'm in my Bible talking about Jonah. And he was saying that in the first chapter, y'all know that Jonah ran and went the other way, right? Then he got swallowed by the fish. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But God was saying, and, and, I, and I don't want y'all to, to focus on what he did, but I want you to focus on what Nineveh did, what the people of Nineveh did. And that's why Jonah was mad at God because he was like, you're going to just forgive them anyway. They're going to repent and you're going to forgive them. That was the whole story why Jonah was mad, why he didn't want to go. That's the story tonight. God says that he sends prophets, he sends apostles, he sends people, but we must, I'm going to say we, all right, put myself up in there, we must repent. There has not been repentance. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't get me started tonight. There has not been repentance. As a matter of fact, everybody is doing their own thing, how they want to do it, why they want to do it, and when they want to do it. If you want to know the truth, more people are about that money and that honey. Come on, somebody. And, and, and let me tell you something, what's happening. How is it that you don't have wisdom and discernment? But you can preach, you can teach, but you don't have wisdom and discernment. Oh, I'm going in tonight. I can feel the power of the living God. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. I promise you before God, and this is not a show because I don't have time for entertainment. I promise you I would be dead now if it had not been for wisdom and discernment. If God would have said, Deanna, shut up. Deanna, don't go. Deanna, 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 Deanna. And I heard and I spat. Hallelujah to his name. A lot of things are happening that should not be happening in the body of Christ, in your homes, around your homes, in your town, in your city. How is it that you don't know and have wisdom and discernment? I'm going to tell you why. Because most people attain it. Most people attain it. Now, I, I'm going to try to go slow, but y'all know how, how given when the Holy Ghost is on me, I go fast. Let me tell y'all something. We are in the same boat as we was a long time ago. Y'all really think we arrived, huh? No, we didn't. Oh, I'm about to break that thing down. Let me tell you something. We have a, a known enemy. And to be honest with you, we're more in bondage than when we was in Egypt. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because all they did, you're under a pharaoh system. Oh, I'm going to tell you how you're under a pharaoh system. How many people got to clock in and out? Hate your job. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, getting sick because of your job. Hold on. Why don't we just really break that thing down? Parents cannot take care of their children and raise their children properly because they have to work, because they have to pay bills. You talking about system. Come on, somebody. Pharaoh's system. I'm going somewhere. You can't do what God said because you're too busy just trying to eat. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me tonight. You know what's the truth. You're just trying to eat. You're just trying to survive. And as a matter of fact, to be honest with y'all, that's what y'all are doing. Oh, I feel it. I feel it coming on. I, I'm going to use myself as transparency. I've had to sacrifice things that y'all wouldn't even believe. And yet people look at me and say this and say that. But let me tell you something. You could talk all you want. No, I don't have what most of y'all have. I don't mind saying it. I'm going to be transparent tonight. Oh, I sure don't. And I don't care about it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Because let me tell you what I do have. I have this sermon. I know where to go. I know what not to go. I know what to say. I what not to say. Ah, hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. That is the greatest gift. Some of y'all, you know, Mary and Martha story. You know, one of them, they, they just want to sit at the feet of Jesus. And the other one, well, I'm doing all the work. I just said something. Most of you want to do all the work. Some of us have chosen. We ain't got to have all that. Can I just sit by your feet, Jesus? Can I just sit by your feet, Jesus? Because I want to hear what you're saying. I want you, to, I want you to talk to me so I can talk to the nations. I want you to talk to me so I can talk to the people. I want you to talk to me so I can save my family. I want you to talk to me so I can save myself. I want you to talk to me, Lord. Hallelujah to his name. And y'all wonder what's going on. You, said the Lord. You have chosen the ways of the world. You want to do what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it, and don't want nobody to tell you nothing. And then when chaos 
and stuff hit and it will hit oh god why why god why me why this why that go back to your first love some used to be in church and it ain't just about a church because we the church some of you, you used to love god with all your heart mind body and soul you, you, you would breathe this, you would eat this, you would know this, and now you barely have time for church. You barely have time to get in the world. We ain't going to talk about no building because most of the buildings tainted, truth be told. Don't play with me because I didn't been in some of them, and I'm going to be honest with you. When they asked me to go to church, I'd be like, God took me out of church at 2015, if y'all don't know my story. Because a lot of people don't understand where I come from. I've been in church all my life, believe it or not. Now, the church wasn't in me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It wasn't until 1996 when I got ordained as a youth minister that I start really understanding what church was about and start really, you know, being in church and preaching and teaching. But still in all, I was not real. I didn't get real technically to about maybe 2006, 2007, because I was doing what most of y'all doing. Just a show, baby. Just go, hallelujah, speak in tongues. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Y'all know all that facade stuff. Not even real. Because when it's real, you know what's coming before it's coming. Because God will wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, let's talk. Somebody in your family doing this. Your daughter doing this. Let me tell you something. There are times when I don't even say nothing no more. It could be family. It could be my daughter. I know what's going to happen before it happened. Now, I might call one family member ju just for witness, but I promise you, I know, and I'll tell her, God said this is going to happen, and then it happened. I'm very serious. Not gloating, not trying to act like I'm all that. I got to stay close to him because he's my ears, he's my eyes, he's Jehovah. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all see what happened to my um camera all of a sudden something happened y'all oh well they probably in here looking listening whatever hi how y'all doing god bless you or whatever but i'm telling you right now you got to stay strong in the lord because god told me to tell you we still have a real enemy and that enemy is after you let me tell y'all where we at do y'all remember y'all probably don't remember because we wasn't born slavery days when they had the underground railroad and they had this and they had that but can i tell y'all something we're right back to it and y'all don't even know it because guess what they playing y'all against y'all they playing us against us how are they doing it apostle because most of y'all are so greedy for money that you will kill your own brother and your sister oh come on somebody i'm not talking about just physically but it could be spiritually it could be with your mouth murdering in the spirit come on somebody hallelujah oh y'all don't hear me did let me tell you something they are they are letting y'all do the dirty work don't play with me they letting y'all do the dirty work because guess what the poverty mentality it'll make you kill it'll make you steal it'll make you rob it'll make you lie hallelujah but what you don't know is it is for your soul we got to come back to god we got to come back to god god always he always sent a prophet he sent jonah he sent jonah but jonah didn't even want to go because jonah, jonah know that god has so much mercy has so much grace, has so much forgiveness. But at the same time, how is it that you don't forgive your brother, man of God? How is it that you don't forgive your sister, woman of God? How is it, but yet you talk out of two sides of your neck talking about hallelujah, but yet I can't stand her. I can't stand him. They work my nerve. They do this. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. If we don't change our mentality and get for real with God, because I'm telling you right now, and I'm... I, I, sometimes I got to stop because here's the deal. I know everybody's not prophetic, and I know half of y'all catching what I'm saying. The other half, you're going to catch it later. If y'all knew what I really see in the spirit, I know this is God because I can't handle it but with God. Death is coming. Death is here. This is his time. This is his season. Read Revelations. And as a matter of fact, when I feel a little better, we're going to get into Revelations because I don't think y'all understand the time and the season. This is Satan's times to reign. And guess what? Can I tell you something? It's not going to get better. God said, God said it's going to get worse. What you going to do when they come for you? And I'm not talking about just no male. I'm talking about demons. They're already here. Some of y'all bringing them in y'all homes. Some of y'all hanging with some. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You know, people, they kind of, they look at me different because I don't roll like I used to roll. Can I tell y'all a secret? And really not a secret. I don't want to roll with everybody because I don't know what you do in the closed doors. And I don't want that what you're doing to hit me because of what you're doing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The devil is a lie. 
The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. And some of y'all need to be guarding yourself too, but y'all don't. Because I, I love them and you know what they're doing. But y'all will sit up there and, and still uh, be attached to them. What is the moral of this whole video? The reason why some things are hitting your household and your home and your job and your mind and your body is because of you. You're making wrong choices. You're connecting to wrong spirits. You have wrong soul ties. You're not praying like you should. You're not fasting like you should. The Bible says this kind come up by prayer and fasting. Hello? And if people want to have an attitude when, when I say what I got to say, because I'm going to say what I got to say. And I already said what I had to say. This come out but by fasting and praying. You can't wish this away. You can't. Oh God, I hope that it go away. The devil is a lie. Remember the apostles, they couldn't cast out their spirit. So when Jesus got with him and all together, they said, well, master, master, why couldn't we cast out the spirit? He said, oh, ye of little faith. Met translation, you didn't have enough power. You couldn't deal with that. This kind come out but by fasting and praying. Some of y'all can't fast and some of y'all can't pray because some of y'all don't want to. And, and I'm going to go here. I had that greedy spirit, so I know what I'm talking about. Most of you just greedy. And I'm not talking about just greedy for money, greedy, period. And you do overdo everything, just everything. And that's a spirit right there. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Then half of you jealous, then envy. Let me tell you something. With what's going on in this world right now, if you are not spiritually led, it's almost like you're on a spiritual death, which is worse than physical death, because that's what it leads up to. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This, this is not the time to play. You, I, I don't know. I think I did, what, a week and a half ago about it was an audio that God says playtime is over. I promise you I'm not kidding. I told y'all what happened, right? I think I did. I did an audio as well. <laughs> God had told me. He had warned me about something. And I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. I don't play with God. And when I say this Bible literally turned to what he warned me on, I got stuck for about a minute. And, and let me tell you something when you see the power of God, I don't care if it's in a little minute way. Oh, you recognize. And you definitely go into obedience for him because you realize, guess what? He real. He real. I'm going to share something with y'all. So many of y'all asking about the glory, the glory. Let me tell you what happened to me one time because another. I see so many people playing on Facebook. I, oh, my God. I don't even want to get on that subject because th th that's, th that's very disheartening. All the the the... the Y'all better quit playing with God. That's all I can say. Y'all better quit playing. <laughs> so anyway, I was a young preacher. I was about 27 years old. And I never forget what I did. I always was kind of like, y'all Y'all know a little cray-cray. I admit it. And I went into the bathroom because I kept hearing all the big preachers and people that we were around that come to the church. They would say, um, tell God to show you the glory. Show you the glory. So me and my special self, I went in the bathroom one day after, you know, everybody was gone. And I went in the bathroom and I turned off the light. And I said, God, show me your glory. Well, he did. He did. And I'm telling you, it, it was something beautiful. And that's why I'm sharing stuff with you guys on purpose. I looked and, and the light, the bathroom, it got bright, bright, light, bright, bright, like a light was on, brighter than a light was on. And I looked towards the bathtub and I saw four men. I presume there was four elders, Moses, Samuel, David, and Joshua. Now, how did I know that? It had to be by the Holy Spirit because I ain't never saw him, not in person. So after that, he says, it was so crazy because I had just started. I didn't know. It was just so many things that God was showing me. So one of the things he said, he said, you're going to be like a fire starter. That's why I have so much passion, y'all. That's why when I get on here, y'all can feel it. He said, I'm going to put a fire that would never die. I promise you, I'm not lying. There was a fire that came around my head. It was like a crown. And it was so real until I wanted to touch it, but I was too scared to touch it because that's how real it was. So I'm just looking. He said, do, do you see the glory? Oh, but, but hold on. He has something in store for me. And then he said, now nah, I want you to feel the glory. Honey, my God, my God. The glory came in that bathroom. I could not breathe. As a matter of fact, my heart started palpitating. Heavy, 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 heavy like it was going to bust out of my chest. And I remember telling God, God, stop you killing me. And I never forget when he when he pulled it back, he said, Y'all can't handle my glory. Stop asking for it. Hmm. Do you remember when Moses 
asked to see the back of God and his whole head turn white. I think we forgot who God is because y'all play with him like he, he's nothing. Uh, I'm just being real with you. I mean, he just looked at the back of God and his whole head turned white and y'all sitting up there playing with somebody that could take your breath. You got to be crazy. Sitting up there putting gold dust in Bible. Some lady on, on Facebook, she didn't open the Bible and put gold dust talking about God. My God, my God. My God, my God. Maybe God ain't never showed you the, his power even in a minute form. But you should at least know the stories that's in this Bible were real. How dare you play with the law of thy God and think. And I'm going to tell you what God told me to tell you. See, right now he's quiet. He ain't been doing a lot of stuff. Come on, somebody. So everybody think they, you know, almost like you got away with some. Or it's almost like a kid that, that, that's out and, and don't think their parents know they're out. He watching everything we do, everything we say. And it's all being recorded. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. And I'm just saying right now, get close to your God. Because I feel it. I feel it in my life. People... I'm going to keep saying it because it's real. Those people not coming, though. They're here. I'm going to tell y'all something. You know how you order from Amazon or any other place? I want y'all to start to act like you're ordering something. And you will see um, Africa armed forces. Um, different armed forces here that was never here before. You know when you ordered before, it was just the 50 states, right? I want y'all to act like you're getting ready to order something. And you're going to see all the armed forces that pop up. And you tell me if you ever saw that before. Y'all ain't, ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. I can feel it in my spirit. And I don't mind telling you what does say the Lord. God said, cry, spare not, and tell them they're coming. Christians, I'm going to be honest with you. We have really disappointed God. Most of y'all fornicating. Most of y'all undercover alcoholics. Most of y'all un undercover gays. Most of y'all undercover lesbians. I'm just being real with you. You better repent while you can. All of us. I'm putting myself into it too, okay? Because we all have sin. You better repent because I'm telling you right now. If you don't have the power of God, the anointing of God, the wisdom and the discernment when them people come, you're not going to be able to distinguish what's going on because it's going to be so much chaos. Let me tell you how they're doing it. Y'all don't understand what's going on, huh? All these murders, all these murders, all these murders. Now, this is going to get a little deep. And I'm trying to, I know so much, I'm trying to throw y'all some breadcrumbs because I also have to be, be obedient too. I'm already a target, so it really don't matter, right? <laughs> they need that gun law to drop. You guys, they paying people to, to, to do hits in every city, every state. You ain't got to believe me. I really don't even care. I don't have time to try to figure out who believe me don't. That's not just, y'all think it's just black on black crime. It is. It's, it's like we're in plantations again. Now, I'm not going to say that derogatory word, but it's like the house and the field. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? Especially black folks. Y'all know what I'm saying. Playing them against each other. All about their dollar. Most markets are doing black market organs. Most hits, if y'all don't believe me, I want y'all to start looking. Most young people, when they're killing them, they're getting them straight in the head because they don't want to mess up the organs. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. This stuff's so deep. If I was to really tell y'all what's going on, half of y'all be scared. That's why God give y'all baby steps, baby steps. And you got to keep me sometime because I be one. I be, I be getting mad. I'm like, I feel like we back in the 50s and the 60s. Ain't nothing changed. Y'all think something changed, huh? <laughs> keep living. Keep living. It's just covered up. And then not, not too good if you can see in the spirit. Whew. That's all I got to say. I'm still I'm still under the weather, like I say, but God got me. I feel weak. Yeah, um, I don't have no blah blah blah. I'm not claiming no blah 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 blah. God got me, but um I'm telling you right now, something is about to happen big. And when it happens, we will have time to get on here and say, hey, what's going on in your state? Hey, what's going on in your state? We're going to just have to help move by the Spirit of God. That's why I told y'all, Pure Flex, that um, it's P-U-R-E-F-L-I-X. Go ahead, download it, look at it. It's free for the 30 days. Just look at it for 30 days. Look at martial law. Look at, uh, I think, 24 hours moments. Look at some of them things. God will lead you. 
Oh, also on Netflix, it has The Colony. Oh, man, that's exactly what it's going to go down. So Netflix, The Colony. That was the sole purpose God made me get it, to look at The Colony. Man, if they ain't showing us, it's a, it's a whole town and they're under martial law. Oh, my God. Your stomach going to turn because you're going to know what's real and you're going to know what's fake. They showing us what they're getting ready to do. And some people are like, oh, it's just a movie. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes them I want to praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Don't say it, Deanna. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. They just gullible. Oh, all right. God bless you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, go to God. <laughs> for real. But ask God for wisdom and discernment. Because um, some things are happening right under your faces. You don't even know. And, and they're just preparing it. Because they need... To, okay, here's the deal. Killings are not going to stop. In the schools and everything. They're paying people to do this. So y'all think it's just happening. People are so violent. I'm not saying people are not violent. They paying people. It's about that money. My God. Okay, God. Guys, um, God bless you guys. I pray that you understand what I'm saying. I missed you guys. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better though. You know, um, I, I knew an attack was gonna come. I pray that most of you go come on the fast. Yes, it's gonna be challenging. I ain't never did a liquid fast either. I pray that you come on. I mean, hey, you fall off, you fall off. At least you tried, right? But don't just, ooh, you're not going to die. You can do smoothies, tomatoes, um, juice. I, I got me some beef, uh, not no beef broth. I got chicken broth. Um, I got meal substitutes as far as liquids, you know, things of that nature. Because we, we, we want to make an impact. We want to make an impact in the kingdom of God for real, not for play. The playtime is over with. Everybody's trying to be the, the top this and the top that. We better learn unity. That's what we better learn. And quick. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.